Signs of the Times. Only Georgia. It's arrived this morning. Me and Thunder remember when people used to make fun of us. Thunder was too big, I was too heavy. We didn't know if we were a lasher or a flip flopper or a through hiker. We were just out on the trail doing our best to smile and make other people smile when we could. Here we are from Massachusetts to Georgia. This is supposed to be a photo. Pretty cool looking tree, going up some rocks. This was like ravens, cliffs, nice view. Nice place to take a break if it wasn't so freezing. It's actually not that windy right here. Today's my birthday, October 18th. It started out about 30. And it's been extremely windy all day. I am less than five miles. Oh, no, wait, this is where the trail goes. I am less than five miles from Neil's Gap. Wednesday morning, October 19th, the day after my birthday. It is freezing. It is windy. Last night was the coldest night on the trail. It reminded me of the night, well for me, the coldest night I've experienced on the trail. It reminded me of the night after summiting Hope Compton. Tennessee, I guess it could be North Carolina, but it was windy that night, but I didn't have my leggings or my long sleeve thermal top. I didn't have my sleeping bag liner. And I was about as cold, if not colder, last night with all those things. So probably a similar temperature around 30, but just windier. I stayed behind the store at Neil's Gap, my only tent. 19th. I'm gonna set myself up today for hopefully a short day of fish tomorrow. So I will be out here on the trail past October 20th. Um, and I don't know, depends upon the wind, it could be as cold, if not colder. I ripped the tongue off of my sneaker last night going to the bathroom, which I did not want to go to the bathroom. So there was a tear right there anyway, from the toe box to the tongue. Um, and I was hoping it was just gonna last tomorrow and a half a day, Thursday. And so when I went to stuff my foot in, in that fucking trail runner and I pulled on the tongue, came right off, probably around midnight, 
ruined my night, but I tried it on, tightened up the laces, it, it seems fine. I will duct tape that fucking shoe to my foot if I have to. stone just about four walls it's got a doorway no windows no door and I imagine it cuts through the wind and it has a salt and a pepper shaker some huggies fake fireplace it's got everything you could want but it's windy in here air conditioning but beats being outside. Today is the first day I've worn long pants. I've got my rain gear on to cut the wind. Although now that I'm at the top of Blood Mountain, I'm thinking about taking them off because uh, I'm starting to sweat. It's gonna get warmer as the day goes on. It's about 11 o'clock. This is a pretty view. You can see quite a few mountain ridges. Let's try to count them. One. Maybe two, three, four, I don't know, five. But it feels like you can see forever. Thinking about making it to Gooch Shelter today, which would just be a 15 or 16 mile day from Neil's Gap, but I did not get an early start. I probably left around 9.30, closer to 10. Didn't even get out of my tent until like quarter of eight. I had it in my mind that I was gonna go into the store. I bought some hand warmers there in here. You probably can't tell. Uh, luxury item. It's freezing this morning. The wind was nasty. Uh, the second half of today, maybe it's the other side of this mountain or maybe it's just the weather. Not as windy. I am back in shorts and I got the rain gear off so I give myself some time to air out before I make it to camp. Hopefully be dry and um, change into my sleeping clothes. I'm hoping it's not going to be as windy is last night, I hate to say this and tempt the universe, but I don't see how it possibly could be, but we know how that works. Um, but yeah, last night, maybe on the trails. So. Another northbound hiker just walked by and told me it's beautiful from here to Springer and I can't argue, not from where I stand. I'm less than four miles away from the summit of Springer Mountain and I'm stopping to filter some water and mix some coffee. It's all, all pretty much up here. It might level out in a few spots, but it's pretty much just a climb. And we'll see how steep it is and how long it takes. I'm expecting to be there about 4.30. summiting spring a mountain just tongue tied there for a second as we speak but um i left camp about 9 45 i guess when it was above 30 degrees closer to 40 it started off at like 29 in the shelter um and i just sat around in my quilt and my thermals it is beautiful out here on the trail today so 
I have to capture a little bit of it. Water, water everywhere. And I don't want to carry it. I said a long time ago, rhododendrons were rhododendrons. And yet here I am, summiting Mount Springer in a green tunnel of rhododendrons. The universe is cruel. I was just flying for me. And then this st sign stopped me dead in my tracks.